In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make an applied I chord edging. So to begin, we're going to provisionally cast on three stitches. Um, I'm just going to start by making a slip knot, putting that on my crochet hook, and then just chaining a couple of stitches. Sorry, I pulled that a little bit too tight. So just chain a few stitches to establish a chain. And then we're going to take our knitting needle, make an X with our crochet hook, hold on to the chain that you established, and then bring the yarn around the knitting needle and the crochet hook and pull through. So do that two more times. So we have an X, come around, pull through the loop. And now we have the three stitches that we need on our needle. And then I'm just going to chain a couple of stitches to finish off the chain and cut our yarn. And then we're just going to pull the loop through to finish it off. So now with our other color, we are going to just knit these three stitches. So, one, two, three, and then we're going to pick up a stitch in our cast on edge or bind off edge, whichever one you are starting with. So now we have four stitches on our needle and we're going to slip our needle to the other side. And then we are going to knit two stitches, and then we're going to knit the next two stitches through the back loop together, and then pick up another stitch. And we're just going to continue working in the same fashion all the way around. And then we can use our second color to have alternating colors on our I-cord edging. Pick up another stitch. This can be a little fiddly, so just make sure you're pulling things tight when you're switching colors. And knit two. Knit two together through the back loop and pick up another stitch. So now that we've made it all the way back around to where we started, what we're gonna do is with the other tip of our needle, we're just gonna pick up the three stitches that we have on waist yarn. And then we are just going to undo our original cast on. So from the slip knot end, I am just undoing it carefully. So this is why you put a knot to mark which edge is actually the slip knot edge because one side will unravel very easily and one side will not. So now we have our three stitches on our needle and we have three stitches here. So I'm actually just going to slip these to orient them better. So now we have three stitches. And with our second color, we're just going to get a needle or a darning needle, and we are going to Kitchener stitch these three or six stitches together. Sorry about that. So we are going to 
go in as if to purl, go in as if to knit, then go in as if to knit and slip off, go in as if to purl, go in as if to purl and off, go in as if to knit, go in as if to knit and off, go in as if to purl, go in as if to purl and off, go in as if to knit and off, and then you're really just gonna wanna pull on all these ends to snug it up. But as you can see, it creates a seamless edge uh, and creates a really beautiful edging for your cowl. So yeah, so you're just gonna wanna weave in all your ends now uh, and do the other side.